Welcome back to Turn Pain Into Power Podcast. Woke up on my Spanish music. Today, I have very deep and juicy topics for you guys. This topic is going to be blessed, chosen, and worth it. Yes, it is truly a healing journey. Becoming the best version of yourself truly comes during your healing journey. Yes, and remember to please like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and check out my custom t-shirts um, website. Um, as you see on the screen, it's also in the bio. It's www.custom-art-t-shirts.myshopify.com. So make sure you check it out. It wasn't until I started to find myself, find my purpose. Um, it wasn't until I started to love myself and find start following God's plan that I did not um, start making the, the changes in my life to become the best version of myself. A lot of the times we have to heal from trauma to even find that capability of finding what's best for you, of making the right choices. So it wasn't until I started loving myself, it wasn't until I started following God's plan and finding my purpose in life that I didn't start making the best choices um, to begin to live the, the best version of myself. So, and when I tell you it, it naturally, it was it was so natural, these choices that I started making for myself, um, you know, started making better choices for my mental health, for my physical health. Most, more importantly, I started to to want to make healthier choices for myself. It's like you start to care about what you invest your time and energy in. All the way down to, to healthier choices in eating. Yes. And things that, that things that are so simple and they seem so unimportant. These choices are what matters. Um, I'll give you a prime example. On my on my breaks, on my work shift. Usually they're, they're, they're small breaks, so you don't have a lot of time. But guess what you can do when you don't have a lot of time? You can make it worth it. Absolutely, you can make it worth it. And um, let's say these small breaks I used to maybe get on social media. I started to cut that off. I started to do things that really bought, brought a, a better quality of life. Let's put it that way. Yes. Um, so simple things like going on my porch and getting a good read from a good book that I could learn from. Things like putting my phone down and maybe going outside on a, on a small break and, and doing something that I'm passionate about that brings me peace. Like painting. You know, you got to find healthier hobbies, things that you are passionate about. And, it, and all it takes is the first step. And the first step is always just doing it. <laughs> Coming out of your comfort zone and just doing it. it. It's just these small changes that make a big difference in your life. Um, also, stepping away from social media, stepping away from people that drain you out of your good energy, choosing when to communicate with toxic people that sometimes are family members. And, you know, and believe it or not, we do have family members that we can't avoid. We do have family members that we do, all we can do is place strong boundaries and choose when to communicate with them. Pick and choose when you're going to be exposed to their drama <laughs> and be prepared. Um, so yes, I feel like that was the most important um, choice and it's choosing who to give your energy to and when to give your energy to them, when to also receive their type of energy because everybody has a different set of energy. And let's be real, we don't all want to be exposed to people that are always constantly being negative. Another very important choice and something that they don't tell you when you start to follow God's plan is that God will change not only your life, but he will start by changing your mindset. Yes. To the people that you invested so much time, to the people that you went to great lengths just to be with, God will change your mindset. You will no longer even care to be around those people because you now have a different perspective of, of life, of the quality of life you want to lead. So yes, it's really amazing because the things that you used to enjoy, like, oh, you have one night off, maybe baby free, and you want to, you look forward to going to the nightlife. Now, I'm not saying 
don't enjoy the nightlife. I very much still do enjoy the nightlife. However, there are more things that fill my life, that fulfill my purpose, and that I'd rather do. Absolutely. So, your your God will change your mindset in such a way that you will no longer enjoy these simple pleasures of going out for the nightlife. One in a blue, once in a blue, absolutely enjoy it. You know what I mean. But um, God will fill your day and fulfill you with things that are that that bring your life purpose and value. And those are things that you're gonna choose to do. And these are things that are always gonna bring your life value, purpose, passion, joy, things that you can't buy. Just to expand, what I found is that I started to make better choices, healthier choices for my mental health and for my physical health. I started to enjoy doing things that made, that filled my soul with joy and happiness, that filled my body with um, strength. I started to enjoy doing yoga instead of listening to loud music, I still love loud music. I still love music. Music is therapeutic. However, there are things in life that bring you peace. There are choices of music in life that you will notice will make you more angry and some that will bring you more peace. So what I'm saying is God will change your perspective and your mindset in such a way that you will start to choose better quality things to do, making better choices for your life to become the best version of yourself. So Things like doing yoga, going by the water, painting my heart out, talking to a good friend, praying with a good friend. There are so many quality things that are out there to do that we are so used to choosing low vibrational things to do before a healing journey. You will not even know about what to do um, to become the best version of yourself after your healing journey. For me, it happened during my healing journey. So yes, I feel like people need to listen to their heart more. People need to follow God's plan. People need to really be in tune with their self in order to live that dream life, in order to become the best version of yourself. So please believe you are chosen. Please believe you are blessed. Please believe you are worth it. Most importantly of all, believe that you are worth it. <laughs> yes, put yourself first. Put your mental health first. Put God first and everything else will fall in place. Everything else will align. And start by starting to make better choices for yourself, you will become the best version of yourself. Please believe. Yes, yeah, so please make sure you like, subscribe to the video. Make sure you check out my custom t-shirts. This is actually a painting that I did. A lot of the shirts that I wear, they are absolutely paintings that I made. <laughs> so I also make custom t-shirts for like birthdays, events, etc., etc. Um, So make sure you tap in. Um, link is in the bio. Link is also on your screen. www.custom-art-t-shirts.myshopify.com Thank you for tuning in to Turn Pain into Power Podcast. You guys have a blessed and wonderful day.